Hey there football fans! Are you ready for a journey through time, reliving the passion, drama, and triumphs of the UEFA European Championship? Buckle up as we explore the thrilling history of one of the most prestigious tournaments in international football. The birth of a dream. Our story begins in the mid-20th century with a visionary named Henri Delaunay. Delaunay, a French football administrator, had a dream. He envisioned a pan-European football tournament, one that would bring together the best national teams from across the continent to compete for glory. In 1927, he proposed this idea, but it wasn't until after his death that it gained traction. His son, Pierre Delaunay, carried forward his father's vision, and in 1960, the inaugural UEFA European Nations Cup was born. In honor of Henri Delaunay's pioneering efforts, the trophy was named after him, a fitting tribute to the man who dreamt big. The inaugural tournament, 1960. The first tournament was hosted by France, but it had a different name back then, the UEFA European Nations Cup. For teams, the Soviet Union, Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, and France competed fiercely. The final was a heart-stopping clash between the Soviet Union and Yugoslavia. As the game went into extra time, fans were on the edge of their seats. The tension peaked when Viktor Ponadelnik found the net with a decisive goal etching his name into football history. The Soviet Union triumphed with a 2-1 victory, becoming the first-ever champions and setting the stage for decades of football drama. 1964, a battle in Madrid. In 1964, the tournament moved to Spain, and the competition was fiercer than ever. The final was a thrilling encounter held in Madrid, where the host nation faced off against a formidable opponent, Soviet Union. The match was tense, with both teams vying for glory. It all came down to a crucial moment when Marcelino scored a dramatic late goal. As the final whistle blew, the answer was clear. Spain emerged victorious with a 2-1 win, a triumph that ignited national pride and set the tone for their future successes in European football. 1968, a new format. In 1968, the tournament was rebranded as the UEFA European Championship. Hosted by Italy, this edition saw the introduction of group stages and knockout rounds, adding more excitement and competition. In a nail-biting final, Italy faced Yugoslavia. The initial match ended in a dramatic 1-1 draw, setting the stage for a suspenseful replay. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation. Would Italy seize victory on home soil, or would Yugoslavia pull off an upset? In the replay, Italy's determination shone through. With Luigi Riva and Pietro Anastasi each scoring crucial goals, Italy secured a 2-0 win, lifting their first European Championship trophy. The 1968 tournament thus became a memorable chapter in the annals of football history. 1972, a new power emerges. The 1972 European Championship, hosted by Belgium, marked a turning point in football history. West Germany, under the leadership of the legendary Franz Beckenbauer, dominated the tournament. As they advanced to the final, anticipation grew. Could the Soviet Union thwart their ascent? The match unfolded with West Germany showcasing their prowess. In a display of superiority, they secured a commanding 3-0 victory, with Gerd Mahler scoring twice, solidifying his legacy as one of the greatest forwards. This triumph marked the beginning of West Germany's era of football dominance. 1976, the Panenka penalty. The 1976 final in Yugoslavia featured one of the most iconic moments in football history. Czechoslovakia faced defending champion West Germany in a dramatic penalty shootout. The tension was palpable as Antonin Panenka approached for his kick. Panenka's audacious chipped penalty left everyone in awe, securing a 5-3 shootout win for Czechoslovakia. This cheeky shot etched itself into football lore marking Czechoslovakia's first and only European Championship victory. 1980, the strategic expansion. In 1980, the European Championship expanded to include eight teams, divided into two groups, with Italy as the host nation. West Germany, appearing in their third consecutive final faced Belgium. The question on everyone's mind was whether Belgium could pull off an upset 
or if West Germany would reaffirm their dominance. In a tightly contested match, Horst Hrubesch emerged as the hero, scoring both goals in a 2-1 victory. This win further solidified West Germany's status as a footballing powerhouse. 1984, Platini's French Fairy Tale. The 1984 tournament in France was defined by the brilliance of Michel Platini. Scoring an incredible nine goals, Platini led France to the final against Spain. The stage was set. Would Spain thwart France's dream on their home soil, or would Platini's magic prevail? In a 2-0 victory, Platini's influence was undeniable, with his hat-trick against Belgium in the group stage and decisive goals throughout the tournament. France celebrated their first European Championship title, a magical event for the host nation. 1988, the Dutch Revolution. In 1988, the tournament was hosted by West Germany, but it was the Netherlands who stole the spotlight. Led by Marco van Basten, Ruud Goulet, and Frank Rijkaard, the Dutch team played scintillating football. The final against the Soviet Union featured one of the most memorable goals in history. Everyone was thinking about would the Soviet Union reclaim their past glory, or would the Dutch dream be realized? Marco van Basten's stunning volley sealed a 2-0 victory, securing the Netherlands' first European Championship title and leaving a lasting legacy in football history. 1992, the underdog to champs. The 1992 tournament held in Sweden delivered one of the most remarkable underdog stories in football history. Denmark, who had initially failed to qualify, replaced war-torn Yugoslavia. The semi-finals saw them face reigning champions the Netherlands in a dramatic penalty shootout. Would the Danish dream continue, or would the Dutch halt their progress? Against all odds, Denmark triumphed. In the final they faced Germany. Goals from John Jensen and Kim Vilfert secured a 2-0 victory. It was a fairy tale ending for the Danish team, a true Cinderella story in football history. 1996, Football Comes Home. The 1996 tournament, hosted by England marked a significant moment as football returned to its birthplace. With 16 teams competing in a four-group format, the three Lions reached the semi-finals, energized by the anthem, Football's Coming Home. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it to the finals. The final saw Germany face the Czech Republic in a tense match. Could Germany secure another title? Or would the Czech Republic make history? The golden goal rule added extra drama, where the first goal in extra time decided the game. Oliver Bierhoff's golden goal clinched a 2-1 victory for Germany, marking their third European Championship title, the maximum for any country to have. 2000, the golden goal era. The turn of the millennium brought the tournament to Belgium and the Netherlands. And France, the reigning FIFA World Cup champions, aimed for more glory. They faced Italy in the final, a clash of titans. In a thrilling conclusion, David Trezeguet's golden goal in extra time secured a 2-1 victory for France, making them the first team to hold both the World Cup and European Championship titles simultaneously. 2004, an unbelievable upset. The 2004 tournament, held in Portugal, witnessed one of the greatest upsets in football history. Under Otto Rehagel's disciplined leadership, Greece defied all odds reaching the final against the host nation. There was a suspenseful question in everyone's mind. Could their defensive tactics withstand Portugal's attacking flair? Note that this was the first ever major tournament of the GOAT, Cristiano Ronaldo at his absolute young age. In a fierce competition for the glory, Angelos Caristia's decisive header clinched a 1-0 victory, earning Greece their first major international trophy and leaving the football world in awe. The sight of a heartbroken Ronaldo captured the dramatic contrast of triumph and despair. 2008, the dawn of Tiki Taka. The 2008 European Championship, co-hosted by Austria and Switzerland, marked the dawn of a new era as Spain began their rise to dominance. Featuring stars like Xavi, Iniesta, and Fernando Torres, Spain's mesmerizing, possession-based play captivated fans and left opponents chasing shadows. In the final against Germany, the perennial powerhouse and most-time finalists, the tension was palpable. Could Spain finally overcome their long-standing curse on the big stage? As both teams battled fiercely, Fernando Torres delivered the decisive moment. Racing past the German defense, 
he elegantly chipped the ball over the goalkeeper, securing a 1-0 victory. This triumph wasn't just a win. It was the birth of a golden era for Spanish football. The victory unleashed a wave of euphoria, setting the stage for Spain's continued success and changing the landscape of European football forever. 2012, the Spanish Armada. The 2012 tournament, co-hosted by Poland and Ukraine, saw Spain aiming to defend their title amid soaring expectations. Fresh off their 2010 World Cup victory, they were poised to make history with consecutive European championships. The final against Italy had fans on the edge of their seats. Could Spain continue their golden run, or would Italy disrupt their quest for glory? The match began with intensity, both teams vying for dominance. Spain's flair and precision quickly took center stage. David Silva opened the scoring, followed by Jordi Alba's stunning run and finish, igniting the Spanish supporters. The tension rose. Would Italy find a way back? In the second half, Fernando Torres delivered a clinical strike, and Juan Mata capped off the performance with a fourth goal. Spain's 4-0 triumph not only highlighted their attacking brilliance, but also cemented their legacy as one of the greatest teams in football history. Their victory was a masterclass in teamwork and skill, leaving fans and rivals in awe of their unprecedented back-to-back -back European Championship wins while simultaneously reigning as World Cup champions. This was the pinnacle of Spanish football, as they maintained an astounding record, losing only two games over an incredible 57-match period. Their dominance on the field was nothing short of legendary, captivating the football world with their precision and flair. 2016, against all odds. The 2016 UEFA European Championship in France, with its expanded format of 24 teams, was a stage set for unexpected drama. Portugal, after a slow start in the group stage, battled their way to the final against the host nation, France. The question lingered. Could Portugal secure their first major title, or would France claim glory on home soil? The final was a roller coaster of emotions. Early on, Portugal faced a devastating blow when their talisman Cristiano Ronaldo was forced off the field due to injury, tears streaming down his face. The nation held its breath, wondering if their hopes had vanished. But Portugal's resilience shone through. In a dramatic climax, Eder, the unlikely hero, unleashed a stunning strike in extra time, sealing a 1-0 victory. The underdog story captured the hearts of millions as Ronaldo from the sidelines celebrated with tears of joy. This monumental win was not just about lifting a trophy. It was a testament to Portugal's spirit, unity, and determination against all odds, etching their triumph into football history. 2020. The Return to Glory Delayed to 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2020 tournament was held across multiple European cities. Italy, revitalized under Roberto Mancini, showcased a captivating blend of youth and experience, reaching the final against England at Wembley Stadium. The anticipation was electric. Would Italy's renaissance culminate in triumph, or would England fulfill their dream of glory on home soil? As the match began, England struck early, igniting hopes of football coming home. But Italy, resilient and tactical, equalized, setting the stage for a dramatic battle. With the score locked at 1-1, the tension soared, and the match won a penalties. In a heart-stopping shootout, Gianluigi Donnarumma emerged as the hero saving two crucial penalties and securing a 3-2 victory for Italy. The triumph marked Italy's second European Championship title, a testament to their resilience and tactical brilliance. For England, the dream was deferred once more, but the spirit of their campaign captured the hearts of a nation. Conclusion from its humble beginnings as the UEFA European Nations Cup to becoming one of the world's most prestigious UEFA European Championship, this tournament has carved out some of football's most unforgettable moments. As each edition unfolded, it added another rich chapter to the tapestry of European football history. If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane about the prestigious European tournament, stay tuned for more exciting football stories and updates. Until next time. Keep the football spirit alive.